Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to spawn decals, uh, in this case bullet holes. Uh, bullet holes, decals, whatever you want to spawn, here's how you do it. Okay, so uh, all you're going to need to do, you're going to need your decal, of course, number one, you're going to need a decal. I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, I don't know, this one. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag off the spawn decal at location. Uh, you're going to want to set your decal size uh, and you're going to want to find the decal location. Now if this is a bullet hole you're just going to want to grab your hit location and drag that on over. The next thing you're going to want to do is set your rotation. That is the rotation that the, de the decal gets applied. In order to do that you're going to want to drag off of your hit impact normal uh, and grab the rotate from X vector and you can plug that right in. Lifespan determines how many seconds uh, the decal stays where it's at. So I'm going to actually do something a little bit interesting here today. That's basically all there is to it though. Um, so what I'm just going to do here just to make this a little bit more random because it's kind of like bullet holes are not going to be exactly the same every time. Uh, I could do something like uh, a random uh, random, uh, let's say, yeah, random float from, uh, random float in range, let's say. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to say, okay, somewhere between the size of 5 and 15 is what I want for each of the decals. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in and I'll get a kind of nice random uh, sized decal each time I do that. So it's just going to look a little bit more varied, a little bit more mixed. You don't have to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. There we go. So, uh, a little bit hard to see, but the, you know, hit impacts look a little bit more convincing now that they're kind of random inside. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you found it helpful, consider checking out my Patreon. I'm still waiting for my very first uh, Patreon. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. See you in the next video.